okay as uh, the students in last class uh, we discussed regarding uh, basics of shrine energy so in this particular class let me move on to very very important topic that is uh, uh, castiglianos theorem so we are having two castiglianos theorem that is a type of strain energy method so one of the strain energy method for your syllabus you are having on the castiglianos theorem as well as sometimes you may get few questions on dummy load method dummy load method or in other words it is called as unit load method unit load method so let me discuss one by one what is mean by castiglianos theorem so all uh, derivation part is not required you have to remember the equations they will ask directly the equation sometimes they will ask like a mcq question like giving some important uh, simple data they will give some important simple data you have to solve uh, using those data for castiglianos theorem or dummy load method or strain energy method some cases what happens if you well versed in strain energy method whatever the method whatever is the type of method you have to get same solution you have to get same solution that's why whatever i am telling is if you well versed with strain energy method yesterday method if you know very well then you you are getting a very good marks in this particular topic you just remember the what is the equation of castiglianos theorem 1 what is the equation of castiglianos theorem 2 where we can in which type of material it uh, castiglianos theorem 1 can be applicable in which type of uh, members castiglianos theorem 2 can be applicable and also in what circumstances we can use unit load method or dummy load method if you know these are the theoretical aspects it is very good because if you know how to solve problem using strain energy method more or less uh, you are uh, through in this particular topic so in this particular class uh, we will discuss regarding uh, strain energy methods in strain energy method one is direct method what we saw yesterday what we saw yesterday that is direct method that is direct method how we arrived the equation that is we equating internal energy which is equal to external work done so on that case we are getting different strain energy equations so uh, strain energy due to axial forces strain energy due to bending all are we discussed yesterday in yesterday class so in this particular class let me move on to the the next very very important topic that is castiglianos theorem that is the one of the method one of the method for determining strain energy for determining strain energy so any doubts in yesterday class any doubts shall we move on to next method yes sir okay so the screen is visible yes sir yes sir okay okay in last class uh, whatever we studied the thing using those equations only we are uh, getting castiglianos equations castiglianos theoretical equations as per your syllabus mentioned they have clearly mentioned strain energy method in one topic and also castiglianos uh, theorem in uh, the next topic so that's why uh, so it's a last class whatever we did it's a very very important thing and also this class is very very important okay uh, so what are the equations we derived uh, in yesterday class that is very very useful for in this section also so for axial load what is the equation we derived for axial load what is the equation for axial load or uh, axial load i i am asking to truss say for an example truss what is the equation for truss yesterday we derived what is the equation u x equals square m f square l by 2e sigma of uh, i equal 1 to n f i square l i L I divided by two into A E I. Okay, so this is the equation one we derived for axial force. What is the equation we derived for flexion? Flexion. That is for beams and frames. What is the equation? U equal summation of integral of M x square d x divided by two e yeah. right. So this is equation number two. These are the very very important equation what we derived in last class. It is nothing derived. We just wonder how we obtained all those things. Having from 
right these are the two very very important equations you have to remember now using this equation let us uh, please keep in mind this particular equations because these are the equations very very useful in castigliano's theorem these are the equations very very useful in castigliano's theorem okay now let me move on to castigliano's theorem so totally we are having two theorems Castigliano's theorem. This is very very important theorems. So theorem one, theorem one. Basically, the theorem one is subjected to uh, is related to displacement. It is related to displacement. Related to what is mean by displacement? What is mean by displacement? What is mean by displacement? Yes. Any idea? Change in length. Yes, change in length. When uh, when uh, any member subjected to force, it will get displaced. Change in length. Okay. So generally, this is uh, related to displacement. Theorem two related to force. Theorem two related to force. You may get in MCQ questions. So theorem Castigliano's theorem two, where it is best suited with respect to force. Castigliano's theorem one with respect to displacement. So what theorem one say? What exactly theorem one says? So it is say uh, that is it's a first partial derivative of strain energy due to displacement. This is first. What it says exactly? It says that first partial derivative. derivative of strain energy strain energy is u of strain energy due to due to what due to displacement. displacement due to displacement so whatever expression we are writing with respect to displacement only which means that dou u do u do you that is partial derivative of strain energy this one do you by do delta we have to do delta we have to with respect to differentiate with this term with respect to delta if we differentiate this this particular equation we are getting the value of fj we are getting the value of fj so if you differentiate delta u with respect to delta j you are getting fj this is castigliano's first theorem but what castigliano second theorem will say this is expression with respect to force first partial derivative of strain energy due to what is this force force first partial derivative of strain energy due to force which means what delta u by delta fj which is equal to when you are differentiating force we are getting displacement delta j see this is very very important thing so when you do castigliano's first theorem that is partial derivative with respect to displacement we are getting force when we are doing castigliano's second theorem it is with respect to force we have to do partial derivative with respect to force we are getting displacement So, in the MCQ, only, I am telling you all these things. This is the MCQ, only. You must tell them. Direct, direct, the MCQ, only questions are brought up. Wow, wow, wow. This is the only thing. Tell them. Ah, this is only you must easy. Tell them. Castigliano's theorem two is related to or is deals with first partial derivative of force, first partial derivative of displacement, first partial derivative of rotation. None of this. All, all of the above. Ah, that I tell them. Ah, what? ನಿಮಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಬರೀತೀರಾ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫುಲ್ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಬರೀ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ತಲೆ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಡಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಡೆರಿವೇಟಿವ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಡೆರಿವೇಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಥಿಯರಂ 2 ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಡೆರಿವೇಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಡ್ಯ
These are the two Castiglianos theorem, especially theorem two is very, very important. This theorem two is very, very important. With respect to theorem two, we can apply this particular theorem to these two equation. So when we apply this particular theorem, delta u by delta f here, yeah, if you differentiate fi, partial derivative of fi is what? 2f. If you partially differentiate fi, you are getting 2f. So in that case, what happens? This 2, 2 will get cancels. 2, 2 get cancels. Finally, we are getting one equation. So that is, we have to write, that is a particular uh, with respect to second principle here here also if you what is the partial derivative of m square what is the partial derivative of mx square yes what is the partial derivative of mx square 2m 2 to get cancels finally you are getting mx so now i am going to write the equation what are the equation after uh, partial derivatives. So finally, what we are getting? So generally, theorem two is extensively used to evaluate the displacement, right? Theorem two, theorem two. Kelthanimge, theorem two. Castiglianos, Castiglianos theorem two. Castiglianos theorem two is extensively is extensively Usual to evaluate what? Evaluate the displacements due to forces, which includes slope, deflections, slopes and deflections, slopes and deflections, slopes and deflections in, in what are the members? Frames, beams, and trusses. See, Nimki Kerbodo, which particular theorem you are going to uh, is useful to evaluate the structural members like beam, stress, and frames. Which is the theorem? Castiglianos? Second theorem. theorem. See, please keep in your mind whatever we are using uh, uh, to solve the problems. That is your Castiglianos second theorem. Castiglianos second theorem. Now I am writing the equation. You have to remember, try to remember that particular equation. First, I am going to write for trusses. So that is delta equals delta equals theorem two nali no deflection thane na madal ye ni avalet mat theorem two nali deflection calculate. But what? Yau na partial derivative mar tivi force 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 na partial derivative mar tivi deflection na find out mar tivi. Idrali yau na partial derivative mar tivi. Displacement of partial derivative Marthi, Yen and determine Yen and determine Marthi. Force. Force na. So you get confusion Marcom already. Oh, Castiglianos theorem two hundred. I'm sorry, it's a force of related door. So force and that's for very force of related under you have to partially differentiate the force. And that time we are getting the deflection. So strictly speaking, in Castiglianos theorem two, we are evaluating the displacement. What are displacement? Displacements are nothing but slopes and deflection, deformation. Deformation is nothing but slopes and deflections. That is displacements. There are two displacements. One is theta, another one is delta. Delta. Delta, that is deflection. Theta is slope. Those are the things we are going to evaluate using Castiglianos theorem 2. So now, I have to differentiate this equation with respect to do u by do f. Do u by do f. And that case, what I am getting here? Do u by do f i, which is equal to summation of i equal 1 to n. So 2 f, f i square will become 2 f, right? F i. So this f i by do u. Or do f do u by do f i not this particular thing will become do u by do f i divided by a e i 
AEI into LI. LI is the constant, right? LI is the constant. See in this equation, I just partially differentiated this term. It will become 2FI. So 2, 2 get cancels. Finally, the remaining terms are do u by do fi. That's why 2fi will become 2, 2 will get cancelled. This is the important thing. Do u by do fi. This is the thing you have to write. This is for which member? This is for trusses. This is the equation you have to remember using Castigliano's theorem 2 for trusses. For trusses. Next, for beam. Delta equal delta equals do u by do mi do mi which is equal to sigma integral of mx mx so here if you do differentiate do mx with respect to do fi force do fi into dx into dx divided by ei this is also very very important this is for beam sign Process. This is also very, very important. This is for beam sign. Beam sign. Process. You may direct the questions. What is the Castigliano's equation? So mx into do mx by do fi into dx divided by ei. This is for beam sign trusses. These are the equations we arrived with respect to Castigliano's second theorem. Castigliano's second theorem. Differentiate partial differentiate partial differentiate with respect to what partial differentiate with respect to what you that is your Castigliano's theorem for truss as well as beams and trusses. Any doubts? So using these two equations only. I have arrived. Idun then or con you head with bodo. Idun then or con head bodo. Nodi. Yeno madila. Do you by do fi alva? Same. Do you by do fi equals sigma i equal one to n two fi. Il two fi madila drin the matte nimo. Do you by do fi into li divided by two 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 cancel agate two fi drin da. Yei i. Nodi adhe equation ido. Yena change the equation alle. Alva. Adhe tarah. Idun na. Do u by do fi, which is equal to 2m. Do u by do fi into dx divided by 2 to get cancel other ei. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. 2m birthday, 2 to get cancel other 2f birthday, 2 to birthday, 2 to get cancel. 2m is 2a either, 2 to get cancel. Any doubts? Any doubts? Yes, have you got this? This is very, very important theorem. Any doubts here? In a doubts here, Matte explain Martini. Using this equation, these two equations only, we have written the Castiglianos second theorem. Basic equations are these two. These two are basic equations. Clear? Shall I move on to next topic? Clear these two equations. Okay. Next, we move on to principle of virtual work. What is mean by virtual? What is mean by virtual? You know, virtual Andre. What is mean by virtual? It's an imaginary. Or it's a fictitious, you have to assume, you are assuming. So principle of virtual work. Uh, well, before going to virtual work, I will tell you the two things. One is mean by real work. What is mean by real work? What is mean by real work? It's the product of, it's the product of, Real force and real displacement. Real work is nothing but it's a product of real force and real 
displacement. Here we are not assuming anything. Whatever the force is acting, that is also real. Because of that force, whatever the displacement is takes place, that is also real. So real work means this is the product of real force and real displacement. Now, what is mean by virtual work? Ivaglar head bodo. What is mean by virtual work? Yes, you have to attempt. What is mean by virtual work? Product of virtual force and virtual displacement. Product of what is virtual. the product of virtual force and virtual displacement? Uh, ah, yeah. others, others. It's a product of. See, there are two things. It is a product of. It is a product of real force or, or virtual force. Q. Say F is real force. Delta is real displacement. Then Q is imaginary force. It is a product of imaginary force. It is a product of. It is a product of imaginary force. It is a product of imaginary force, real displacement, or or real force, imaginary displacement. See, don't jump into conclusion that real work means it is a. You know, imaginary other other thing, right? Force no, you know, assume that it is a displacement no, you know, assume that it is a. Under here, no, so there is no work. Nothing is happening. Are you imaginary? Are you put where? One is imaginary. Another one is real. If I know the real displacement, I can imagine the virtual force. If I know the virtual force, I can imagine the real displacement. Be careful. This is the question expected. These type of questions are expected. So now you can say that it's a product of what? It's a product of. real force and virtual displacement virtual displacement or or product of product of real displacement to virtual force either one either one is imaginary other one is real this is very very important virtual work it's a product of q into delta or it's a product of f into delta but this is both are real so now you got to think what is mean by virtual work and what is mean by real work virtual means it's an imaginary or fictitious which means we don't know we say we are just assuming the load say your unit load method how we are assuming 1 kN unit right so these kinds of principle of virtual work comes into picture in the those type of strain energy methods so any doubts here these two technical terms any doubts these two technical terms any doubts Inner doubt in the upper. No, sir. Okay, good. Okay, now I am moving on to see here. Principle of virtual work is having two principles. It's having two principles. One is, one is what principle of principle of virtual forces. Virtual forces. What is second one? Principle of One force इधर इन्दन देना। Guess मार बोध अपानी हो। ये निम्बल वाती दिरा इल्वो। Principle of virtual, virtual displacements. Very good. Displacements. Now tell me what is mean by principle of virtual forces? Yes. Now I explain what is mean by real work and what is mean by virtual work. Now tell me what is mean by principle of virtual forces? What is mean by principle of virtual forces? Any idea? What? Virtual force is not really 
ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ್ದು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇದೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ principle of virtual forces and principle of virtual displacement now tell me i'm having two equations right here yes. product so which one is here virtual we are having two things one is relevant to real displacement another one is related to real force so now tell me which will come under virtual force and which will come under virtual displacement so first one the uh, virtual delta first one the uh, virtual force others ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ತರ್ಟಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇದೀರಾ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾನು ಏನಾರ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳಿ ನೀವು ಏನಾರ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಏನಾರ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಸೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಿಮ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ನಂಗೆ ಒನ್ ಅವರಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಂದೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ತಪ್ಪೋ ಸರಿನೋ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿ ನೀವು ಕಲಿಬೇಕಲ್ವಾ ಎಸ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ವರ್ಚುಯಲ್ force what is mean by virtual force imaginary imaginary force here i am assuming force as imaginary which is related to imaginary force here first one or second one first one yes this equation related to virtual force and another what is virtual displacement second one f into delta k okay. yes here displacement i am assuming as imaginary so these are the two principles idanna nimage idral keltane mcq nalli equation kodtini idakke aa equation bara chances irutte godaita ha idu nodi idu correct observe maadi linear static structure what is mean by linear static structure Static means what? Hey, word, Subjected to a, what is mean by static structure? No moment. Yes, no moment. It means stationary. 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 Static. Yaudu, chairman. Kutirtira. That is the static structure. Ah, basal kutirtira. Bas moving. Bangalore, Mysore. Hey. Adela, yenado, kinematic. ಡೈನಾಮಿಕ್ ಕೂತಿರ್ತೀರ ವಿಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲೋ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಕಿತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅರ್ಥಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಏನದು ಡೈನಾಮಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬೇಕಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ಗೊತ್ತಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು okay yes linear static structure means it is a uh, stationary structure which means linear means you just observe stress strength curve with an elastic limit okay so structure it is subjected to a system of to a system of virtual forces alva system of virtual forces here what what are forces now forces are different types of forces yavdu structure mele act agodu idu structure nimge sfdbmd madide ivaga helbek nimu idr mele act aka different type of forces yavdu try madi ro support alli en irutte reactions ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ನೋಡು ಇದು ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಇದೆಯೋ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇದೆಯೋ ಈ ಬೀಮ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇದೆಯೋ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಇದೆಯೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಮ್ ನೋಡ್ರಪ್ಪ ಇದು ಬೀಮು ಈ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಹೊರಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯೋ ಬೀಮ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯೋ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫೋ
ಕೊದಿಬೇಕು ಕಣ್ಣು ಹುಡುಗ್ರ ಈಗ ನೀವು ಶೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಅದೆಲ್ಲಿತ್ತು ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಸರ್ ಹಾ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಶೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಪಟ್ಟ ಅಂತ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಂಡ್ರು ವರ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಮತ್ಲಬ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಶೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೋಡ್ಸ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಗೊತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಯು ಡಿ ಎಲ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಏನಿದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನರಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅವ್ನ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಆಗ್ತಾನೆ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ್ದು ವರ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ ಅವಾಗ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ ಎ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯಾವ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಇದು ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಏನು ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಏನೋ ಏನ್ರ ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ವರ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಂಟು ವಾಟ್ ಯಾವ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಇದು ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಂಟು ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಹಾ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ See, now you observe the definition. In a linear static structure subjected to a system of virtual forces which includes both internal as well as external acting throughout a system of real displacement. That is what you are saying. This is the equation. This is the equation. This is the equation. This is the equation. ಯಾರೋ ಒಬ್ರು ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಗೆಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎರಡು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ತೋರಿಸಿದೀನಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎರಡು ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ತೋರಿಸಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಯು ಮೇ ಗೆಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಯು ಮೇ ಗೆಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನರಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ವೈ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಆ ಫಿಗರ್ ನೋಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾನೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ತರ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹಾಕೋ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಇದೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದಿ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಟ್ರೈ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ನೀವು ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಿಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಕ್ಕಿಕ ಮಕ್ಕಿ ನನ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಹಾಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಕ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಸುಮ್ನೆ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೋ ಯೂಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಹಾ ಅದೇ ತರ ಇವಾಗ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಈ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ನಾನು ಒಂದಕ್ ಬರ್ದೆ ಅದೇ ತರ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದಕ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ವರ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವರ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ರಿಯಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಇವಾಗ ಈ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಹೇಳಿ Now tell me the equation. What is the equation? First, external gain is there. Real force, Fe. Imaginary, Fe delta E. Fe delta E minus Fi delta E equals 0. This is principle of virtual force and this is principle of virtual displacement these two are very very important so e topic nalle nimge numerical so rare case yene numerical hakodru nimu strain energy nenne
So on that case, uh, you must be very strong in basics. Right? So in your virtual displacement and then virtual work and then real work and then the first go to the using those concepts. What is mean? What is the principle of virtual force? And what is the principle of virtual displacement? You do go to the back. So these are the two equations. You don't know yet. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't ಒಂದು ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಡೆರಿವೇಟಿವ್ ನ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ತು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಡೆರಿವೇಟಿವ್ ನ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ತು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥಿಯರಮ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಯರಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೊಂದು ಕೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಜನರಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಯರಮ್ ಈ ಎರಡನೇ ತಿಯ ಎರಡನೇ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಎರಡನೇದನ್ನ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಲಿಯಾನೋಸ್ ಥಿಯರಮ್ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬೀಮ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಸಸ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅವಾಗ ನೀವು ಆಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ನ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಯಾವ್ದೋ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಲಿಯಾನೋ ಟೂ ಥಿಯರಮ್ ಗೆ ಅದೇ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಲಿಯಾನೋ ಥಿಯರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಬರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ ಕೇಳ್ ಅವನ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಡಿಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಒಂಥರ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅದು ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಲಿಯಾನೋ ಥಿಯರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ತಲೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಲಿಯಾನೋ ಥಿಯರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೂಟಬಲ್ then the only the condition of superposition is valid andre nivu structure alli superposition antare superposition andre enandre nivu ella elements of civil engineering alli odirthira say for an example l1 l2 there are two bodies subjected to f1 f2 it will it will generate the displacements delta 1 and delta 2 delta 1 and delta 2 then by principle of superposition the the, the, the particular thing is the summation of force into displacement f delta 1 plus f2 delta 2 this is principle of superposition this is related to force if this theorem is valid if the structure holds principle of superposition then only the castigliano's theorem 1 is valid nim mcq nal kelthane idna artha aita when theorem 1 is applicable if principle of superposition holds when this theorem 2 can be applicable for any Oops. kind of structures like beams frame trusses any doubts any doubts no sir good artha agilla andre helu bidri matte heltini yakandre one sari class mugud mele nim recorded videos nodbekagutte naan iralla nan naan iruva nim doubts irbeku nanu availability illa idaravaga nim doubts bandre use illa okay this is very very important so this is also important only this is the theoretical concepts ah one more thing dummy load method equation helibidtini adu important ide kelabodu equation na godaita why dummy load concept will came there is an imaginary that is the, that's why you you already studied the principle of uh, virtual force and as well as principle of virtual displacement that's why this particular strain energy method is evolved that is called dummy load method neevu maadirthira essay nalli ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ನ ಫುಲ್ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಡಮ್ಮಿ ಲೋಡ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಆರ್ ಯುನಿಟ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಏನು ತಲೆ ಕೆಡ್ಸ್ಕೋಬೇಡಿ ಎರಡು ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರಸ್ ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಬೀಮ್ ಗೆ ಸಿ ನೀವು ಒಂದು ಟೇಬಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ರಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅವತ್ತೇ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಟ್ರಸ್ ಬೀಮ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಸೇಮ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಬೀಮ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಗೆ ಸೇಮ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಸ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಒಂದು ಜನರಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಬಂದು ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಲಿಯಾನೋಸ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಬಂದು ಯುನಿಟ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಸೊ ಇದೊಂದು ಆರು ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ತಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನೆನ್ನೆ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೀಟಾಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ನಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಮಾಡೋದೆಲ್ಲ ನೀವೇ ಸುಮಾರು ಜನ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರಿ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೀಟಾಗಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಪಕ್ಕ ನೀವು ಯಾವ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಈ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ ನೀವು ಯಾವ ಯಾವ್ದೋ ಬುಕ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಡೆಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ನೋಟೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಒಬ್ಬೊಬ್ರು ಒಂದೊಂದ್ ತರ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ನೆನ್ನೆ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ದೆ ನಾನು ಒಂದ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಎರಡು ಮೂರ್ ತರ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ತರ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಬರಿಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆ ನೋಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಇದು ನ
are assuming imaginary f i c i l i divided by a e i. Aste illi ano? Either do u by do f are put in castigly ano put up. Instead of do u by do f, if you put the the imaginary force. This is the imaginary force. Imaginary force. This is the imaginary force. This is the imaginary force. This is the real force. The real force. and this is the length of member. This is for trusses. This is for trusses. If you just observe the previous equation here, here what is there? Do you by do f y? This is castigly ano. Instead of do you by do f y, if you put k i, if you put k i, what it will become? It will become the Miller method. That's all. Each other then put ko be ko. Are there any instead of k i do you by do f y? If you put f y square, it will become strain energy. So simple. Just to just try do. टेक्निकल फ्रेम्स हाँ नहींक्वेशन इक्वेशन तोर्ती हाँ इक्वेशन नो डी लोड मेथडेशन तोर्तमी लोड प्रीवियस दिस K is the force. K is the term used for force here. Moment. Yeah. Moment. Small m i. Moment. Small m i. You need to this. Either this K is. This is the imaginary force. Or you take like uh, in other words, you take this is the force due to unit load. Or unit load. K is unit load. Imaginary, imaginary is nothing but unit load or dummy load. Unit load or dummy load, dummy force. One is real force, another one is dummy force. Here, delta equals summation of integral of m x into small m x into d x divided by e i. Right where this is the real. Moment, and this is the dummy, dummy or or unit moment, dummy or unit moment, dummy or unit moment. See, here the equation compare more quickly. Alva, do m x by do f i. If I replace by small m i, it will become unit load method. If I replace by k i, it will become unit load method. Remaining things are as usual. Any doubt? Yes, sir. More no more kondra. The more equation very very important. These three equation first. Idun not more kodi. Very very important. Next, idun not more kodi. This is also very very important. Next, idun not more kodi. These three things only. Nimge. रिगार्लियानो As well as we discussed regarding uh, how to arrive uh, truss equation using Castigliano second theorem, how to arrive beams and uh, it's not truss frame, alai do beams and frames, frames equation using Castigliano second theorem, and also we just uh, coming to know what is mean by principle of Wachowski work, 
we are going to be, uh, be before this topic we just learnt what is mean by real work or what is mean by virtual work afterwards we learnt principle of virtual forces principle of virtual displacements next we just uh, state an equation dummy load method is a type of strain energy method it is also type of strain energy method strain energy method so here yeah, you are you just replace whatever do u by deva u by do f by k i do u uh, do m by do f by m x that is will become unit load method so any doubts any doubts shall i move on to the uh, small numerical afterwards mcq associated with castigliano's and strain energy method yes sir okay you know doubt idea see ishta irad nodi nenne inda helkottirudu axial force madidivi flexure ella one by one neat a helidivi eshtu beko astu ah idella correct a follow madidre yenilla structures ishta irad nimge alva okay see nan full problem solve madalla it's not necessary but i will give the hint okay hint solve madadu anta yakandre if in case by miss एक्सापल I will give you non-prismatic member. One is two i. Another one is i. This is subjected to ten kilo newton. Take this. This is subjected to twenty kilo newton. Take this is two e i, and this is e i, and three meters. Three meters. A B C. A B C. Ah, इल्ली एंग उत्ता हूँ याहू दार पॉइंट केर बोलो. Compute the deflection at B or compute the deflection at C. अतरा. Here you compute Y B. Right. Just method. Compute Y B using Castiglianos. Castiglianos method. Or the mi load method the mi load method or regular strain energy method if you do it in all three methods you have to get same solution if you do it in all three methods you must getting same solution nimge same solution e bartade nimge enu changes agalla Okay. Yes. See this method. I think. Nimke uh, nenne ne head dini. Yau do. This one strain energy method. Ah, huh. first sumne hint. Strain energy method adre hang mara do. Using which equation? For beam, what is the for beam? U equals. What is the equation? Formation of integral of or summation of integral of dx square dx dx by two e i alva adhe nimge ida adre yado castiglia no sadre how to do castiglia no for beam what is the equation summation of delta j Which is equal to summation of integral of m x do m x by do q i or do f i into d x divided by e i. Sorry, na. Adhe ni mi dummy load method adhe ring mada do. For dummy load method, what is delta J? 
integral of mx in the just in in the place of do mx by do fi you have to take small mx dx by ei not to ei ei yeah see <coughs> now you one common observe maadi strain energy inta kelidre ee equation use maadabodu but illa avan en kelidirado what are you asking what are you asking the what is the name displacement when he is asking displacement you must go for castiglianos or the mean load method if we are asking only strain energy see nimge idunu mcq kelbidabodu what are the following methods used to compute displacement in a structural member strain energy method castiglianos method the mean load method but you can compute by strain energy method how we can compute how we can compute we know that uh what is the another equation another form of this equation what is this thing strain energy equal half into half into stress into strain into volume volume right but what is strain change in length by original length so adanna maadabodu but aadre Direct strain energy method and the bandre only Castiglianos theorem as well as dummy load method. These are the two methods specifically, especially this is Castiglianos theorem. Second theorem. Second. So you need to basic go there. Beko. Need to carry on the basic. You must go there. Beko. Only these are the strain energy type of methods. Directly we can use to compute. deformation or displacement in a member clear any doubts so this method already we solved yesterday now let me see how to solve this particular simple beam problem using these two methods okay so it is a very uh, simple thing first thing uh, what are uh, how many members how many segments are there in the one particular beam ac and cb so we we just take, we have to take two segments right two segments same nimage sfd bmd nalle hege helkottro same adhe tara so you make a column you make a just table or form see adashtu table al kalthkodra pa mcq gella nimage kathe barkon hogashtella time iralla so you take segment segment try maadi madadakke segment limit limit origin can take origin origin and mx here if you require mx mx once you are getting mx you partially differentiate with respect to x you are getting do mx by do f that's all now first segment i will take ac ac what is the limit if you are it take if you fix a as the origin see the beam is like this right here 20 so if you take this section here x x you if you take this as the origin x so which one is the origin a what is the limit a to a is 0 a to c is 3 3 so next if you take this section here somewhere if you take here or if you take from here then it will become 3 to 6 or if you take here then the, uh, the segment is cb origin is a or b whatever you can take if you take a it will become 3 to 6 if you take b it will become b to b is 0 0 to 3 b to c is 3 the only changes okay now mx first for mx here for this you have to compute the reactions in cantilever there are three reaction So what is the reaction here? This is a summation of force because cantilever. So 20 plus 10, the reaction is 30. What is the moment? 10 into 6, 60 plus 20 into 
60. 60 plus 60, 120 clockwise. The resisting moment is always anti clockwise. If it is clockwise, the resisting moment is anti clockwise. So 60 plus 60, it will become 120. There is no horizontal force, zero. <coughs> Once you compute this, now you are taking the section here. You are taking the section here. So this is X. This is X. What is the moment? What is the moment? Anti clockwise minus 120. Yes. Clockwise plus 30 into X. Any doubts? Any doubts? Any doubts in moment? Next segment. This is the next segment. If I take here, next segment, X, X. If I take this as the X, this as the X. Here only one force, right? There is a only one force. There is only one force. See, when you are doing this kind of uh, method, please keep in your mind, uh, wait, I will explain what is this. I will take all this because for explanation, we require the problem. See, uh, here we have to assume. So where he is asking displacement, where he is asking displacement at B, at B. Initially, what we have to do, we have to take the same beam. We have to take the same beam here, whatever, when, where they exactly is asking the displacement. At that particular point, you have to take it as F or Q. You take this as a imaginary Q. So when you are taking Q, it's a real force. You are finally you are getting in terms of equation Q. On that time, what is Q? Q equals 10 kilonewton. So you have to substitute that value Q. So how to do? I will just explain. Now, instead of here, if you take Q, how much you are getting if you take Q? That is Q plus. What is the reaction you are getting? Q plus 20. Here, what is the moment you are getting? Not 120. Here you are here you are getting 120. No, uh, there is no doubt. But here, whatever you are getting, 6q. This is distance 6q, right? Clockwise. So you are getting 6q plus 60. 6, 6q plus 60. Now, what is the moment you are getting here? If you take x. Here, if you take x. Q what is the moment 20. you are getting? Q plus 20 into x. Yes. Minus uh, 6q plus 60. Okay. So you are getting q plus 20x clockwise, right? So that's why you are getting uh, q plus 20 into x. Another one is anti clockwise minus 6q plus 60. Right? Only that much. What is this? How much you are getting here now? If you take here x, only one force. Clockwise is negative because you are taking right to left. SFT Madhidiwala. This is minus qx. Why minus qx? This is a section is right to left. Here, clockwise positive, anti clockwise negative. But here, anti clockwise negative, anti clockwise positive. So this is over. This is over. Now, what we have to do? Sir, q is equal to. Hello, sir. In the part? Sir, Q is equal to 10x. No, sir, already Q. Yeah, uh, integration and the modern man birthday. The partial derivative is the equation. Equation any daily. What is in equation? Do you by do F I there? F I and Rainily Q I. With respect to Q, you know, derivative partial derivative modern. The direct act put a derivative is equal. Here, what Andre, is the equation? Fi paka. Sir, Andre, how point only displacement to kill the other point? problem nalina, no? Ill care with a scenally. Ava gillian marty, ill q on the tobacco. Okay, okay, sir. Bodaita? Huh? 
ಈ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ನೋಡ ಫುಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಂಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಇವಾಗ ಇಷ್ಟು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿದೆಯಾ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನೌ ವೈ ಬಿ ವೈ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಇ ಐ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ತಗೋ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಇ ಐ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಈ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎ ಸಿಗೆ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಇ ಐ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇ ಐ ರೈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಏನ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಇರೋದೇನು ಎಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಸಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಐ This is 2EI. 4EI, sir. Ah, 4EI. 1 by 4EI, you take outside. 1 by 4EI, you take outside. What is the remaining MX? What is MX? 2 plus... 2 plus 20 into X minus 6Q plus 60. 60 into... What is the derivative? This is do MX by dou Q. With respect to Q, you have to... you have to differentiate what what you are getting now if you differentiate this yen baruthe differentiate madidre 2 plus 20 uh, here q into x 20x x is 0 because there is no q term q into x will become x here this for this term only x q into x qx if you differentiate qx you are getting x q is 1 minus here 60 is 0 what is 6q derivative it's only 6 if you if you do do mx by do q here you are getting here qx plus 20x so if you do do m by do q with respect to you are doing so you are getting only x here 6q minus 6 So that is the value I have substituted here in the place of do m x by do q. Any doubts? Into dx. So this is for one term. Next plus. What is the second term? This one. 1 by 2 e i. You take outside. Here e i is there. No problem. 1 by 2 e i. Into integral of 0 to 3. Here only q x you are having. Minus q x. Q x. Into what is the derivative of? minus qx what is the derivative of do m by do q how much minus, minus x. x minus x so minus into minus it will become plus right i am taking directly x into dx now multiply madi x factors bartha finally you are getting arriving on the equation in form of q q and some values afterwards if you substitute q equal 10 equal 10 you are getting the yb value any doubts in the method sir minus qx and x hang bach sir minus ala minus minus qx na if you multiplied by minus x this is minus x minus into minus it will become plus e minus qx ide alva na pa no sir adu adu hange idko hogli ninu ninge ashton confusion agadadre ಇದ್ ನೋಡಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬರಿತೀನಿ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇವೇಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೋ ಎಂ ಬೈ ಡೋ ಕ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನೀನು ಯಾವ್ದ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಇದನ್ನ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಮೈನಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಇಷ್ಟು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಯೂ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ
ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕು ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಿಂಗೆ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ನೋನ್ ಉಳಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಹಾಕದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅವಾಗ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ಕ್ಯೂ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಮೈ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಹೇ ದೇರ್ ಒನ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಮೈ ಸರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಥಿಯೇಟಿಕಲ್ ವೇ you are you must be known how to solve the problem clear any doubts any doubts in castiglianos this is castiglianos method not just uh, dummy load this is castigliano method any doubt in this method castigliano confuse aitu pura confusion na you know confusion marko beda pa ಸುಮ್ನೆ ನೋಡಪ್ಪ ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಹೇಳಪ್ಪ ನೀನು ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ನೀನು ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಹೇಳಪ್ಪ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಬೇರೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇಲ್ವಾ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ಟ್ಲಿಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಮಾತಾಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆಡಿಯೋ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಾತಾಡ್ರಪ್ಪ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ರಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ದೀಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಮೋರ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಮೋಲ್ ಟು ದ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ Okay, so what is Castiglianos theorem? Already I have explained. So uh, this is the theorem mainly used for uh, first one deflection. So next one is force. So especially this is also very, very important thing. The first theorem, basically the first theorem is applicable for, is applicable for okay so here this is the first theorem is mainly applicable for to linearly or non linearly elastic structures this is very very important linear or non linear no matters but the first theorem is applicable for elastic structure with which temperature is constant and supports are unyielding so the this particular thing you may expect in mcq question these are the theorems majorly used for in linear or non linear no problem elastic structures especially unyielding supports especially unyielding supports in second theorem basically it deals with deflection we know that <coughs> so second theorem is applicable for linearly elastic material but first one is mainly the c this is very very important this is for linearly elastic but first theorem is applicable for both linear and non linear elastic with unyielding supports with unyielding supports so the equations have already shown that it's a derivative you are getting p here if you do derivative you are getting m see these are the methods actually whatever i have given so these are the energy equations if you do partial derivative this is the castiglianno theorem if you here if you do partial derivative of p this is castiglianno here is the moment equation we have to do partial derivative of moment here is a torque equation we have to do partial derivative of torque 
if it is a volumetric strength it is a transverse shear you have to do partial derivative of v so these are the general concepts as we discussed in yesterday class also and also this class have given the very very important equations especially these two equations are very very important now let me move on to mcq well before uh, moving to mcq question i am giving 5 minutes of break if you take uh, please take the 5 minutes of break if you want uh, i will just move on to mcq part shall i move to mcq or you may you require 5 minutes of break students idhar appa 5 minutes break sir 5 minutes break ah okay 5 minutes break thogodi alli varagu ee method ena artha aadre ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಾಡಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕೇಳಿ ಇದನ್ನೇ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀನಿ ನಾವು ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಲಿಯನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೆತ್ ನಾಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಟು ವರಿ the thing is this is a type of method these kind of problem normally they won't ask in mcq because mcq is a just uh, just it's a you have to solve within 2 minutes or 1 minute so this is a general type of method how to solve the problem so if you if you are getting confusion nothing to worry you don't follow this particular thing you just try to uh, adopt yourself how to solve the steps that's all okay but generally what is the important thing you must remember this is the equations equations are you must remember because equations they will directly ask in mcq okay so dummy load method equation is very very important as well as uh, principle of virtual forces as well as princ principle of virtual displacements and also what is mean by real work what is mean by virtual work and this one this is axial load equation flexure equation and what is meant by castiglianos first theorem so first partial derivative of strain energy due to displacement what is meant by castiglianos second theorem it's the first partial derivative of strain energy due to force so due to force so we are getting displacement in theorem 2 theorem 2 is very very important using theorem 2 we can solve trusses beams and trains okay so now let me move on to the mcq question related to strain energy yes internal deformation caused by the real loads will be in a linear elastic member what is the value so what is it is asking if you are applying a load p then uh, what is the delta value what is delta is asking directly deformation what is delta for this what is the equation the so basic strength of material equation nl by ae yes pl by ae Shindy. pl by ae or here if you see n is the load which represent real loads real loads so if it is p in terms of pl by ae so the option is d so any doubts real load this is the real load next what is the value of delta in a member once again he is asking directly what is the value of delta it is asked for a bar element a single member but it is asking for a beam element see for an example it's having beam element so it's you have to take sections a b c d on that case summation of what delta equals sigma of what what is the equation nl by e sir yes nl by e n n l by a e or p l by a e so this is the answer so the one day the question yav yav tara bekaru kelbodu okay next castiglianos theorem is applicable when temperature is varying statement whether the above statement is true or false 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 because false. i have stated see when uh, in this particular thing you just see here in this slide see you just observe castiglianos theorem what is the equation i have stated here which the temperature is what is this temperature constant. is constant. constant 
temperature is constant so here here you see the statement false what is the statement temperature is varying instead of varying instead of varying if they give constant then correct see this is a small variation you must catch that particular thing casting around theorem is applicable when temperature is constant so i am not telling us there is no temperature please be in mind in case in case i am eliminating these two words i am giving no temperature on that case false true sir false why because the thing is the temperature the temperature must be the temperature must be in casting around constant. theorem is constant see one question i can twist to three questions in a single question i can ask three questions clear yeah. so the, the, generally these kinds of problems are expected these kinds of questions are expected why because they they are not having option to ask 20 marks question they will ask the question like you have to think okay so please make a note i am take a important point as a highlight castigliano theorem is applicable when temperature is constant if there is no temperature <coughs> it is false if the temperature is varying once again statement is false if it is constant then only it is true okay next ha huh. in which of the following cases castigliano theorem is applicable yes you have to try b sir b only yes others d sir b b sir B. B is a non-yielding support. Now, what is the B? B is saying that it's a non-yielding support, linear elastic. See, first yielding support eliminated. Yielding support linear elastic. Yielding support once again yielding support it is also eliminated. Non-yielding support non-linear elastic. But what we said it must be linear elastic. Hence, B is right. Right. Good. Next. Yes, this one. See, you give that question say it today. Ah, you know, I equation or I equation so it do. It's not contrary to anything. Yes, if any of the external force acting increases, ah, see, here it is. One system is there. One system is there. Load apply, Martya, ten k, ten kilonewton. Next, other system get twenty kilonewton apply, Martya. Will it act to what? Energy. Resistant capacity. Which one act to what? internal resistance force the increase also andre yen agutte increase andre energy also increased yes increases. energy also increased the answer is b it's not decreasing this is a changing it's not negative clear it will increase right next question ha huh. what will be the delta if change in force is dp And du is the change in strain energy. What is giving? Du is the change in strain energy, and also dp change in force, change in force. And what will be the delta? What is delta? Which option is correct? Castigli and Oss theorem. Sir, last one du. Yes, very good. Castigliano knows which theorem? The last one is which theorem? First theorem or second theorem? First theorem. First theorem. Sir, second theorem. Second. Ah, displacement. See, displacement. Find out. Madu second theorem. Malle. Matte confusion. Madu komar bade. This is second theorem. Next question. Yes. This theorem is applicable when non-conservative forces are applied. State whether the above statement is true or false. False. Yes, guess. Right or wrong? Nothing to worry. Please guess. False. False. Others. False. False. Yes, it is false. This theorem is only applicable for conservative forces. Okay, please keep in mind. It's a direct question. It is applicable for if if you remove this, then true. 
statement is true. 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 Okay. It's a very simple one. Next. Yes. <laughs> Study carefully. There are four sentences. Which of the statements are correct? Which of the statements is are correct? Which of the statements is are correct? Try, try, try. Yes. Any answers? First thing, displacement method is more useful when degree of kinematic indeterminacy, degree of kinematic indeterminacy is greater than degree of static indeterminacy. First statement. Wrong, sir. First. Wrong. Why? Because displacement method is when ki is less than. Yes, right. Kinematic indeterminacy must be less than static indeterminacy. Therefore, this is wrong. Yes, if sir. you study this, displacement right. method is useful for degree of kinematic. It is, this is right. right this sir. is right. Now, if you come to force method, force method means this is the flexibility method. This is the displacement method. In force method, uh, when degree of static indeterminacy is greater than kinematic indeterminacy. No, this is wrong. wrong that is Static uh, uh, that is kinematic indeterminacy must be less than static indeterminacy. So the force method is more useful when degree of static indeterminacy is less than static indeterminacy is less than kinematic indeterminacy. This is right. So which option is right? Two and four. Now here B. Any doubts? See, what is meant by kinematic intermediacy? What is meant by static intermediacy? We are going to discuss in detail after strain energy concept. But yes, this sir. is also related to sometime energy method. So there is a chance because we studied whatever the relationship of virtual, virtual uh, force and virtual displacement. So, but as of now, you just keep a note that kinematic indeterminacy is greater is a uh, kinematic indeterminacy is less than static indeterminacy is displacement method take a key point key point static indeterminacy is less than kinematic indeterminacy is force method force method or flexibility method you are having flexibility matrix method and the other Flexibility method. This is displacement method or stiffness method. Another name, stiffness method. Stiffness method. Instead of displacement, instead of displacement, they have to put stiffness. Instead of force, they may put flexibility. Both are same. Both technical words are same. Okay. Next question. Huh. Casting Liano theorem is applicable when theorem when theorem one you take casting Liano's first theorem. Yeah, yeah, is given. Option C. Yes. C, sir. When only principal superposition is valid. Okay, it's very, very important thing. Generally, what they will do, students will go for uh, structure behaves elastically. No, why? I have given theorem one. It's an elastic or non-elastic. Less. But it must hold superposition. Superposition. Okay. Next question. Ah, uh, casting the second theorem can be used to compute deflection. Second theorem. Option B. Option B. Yes. Option B. Right, because we Option can B. use for any kind of structures, frames, beams. Trusses, right? So option B. See, this is very, very important. These two things. Make a note. Next. Huh, yes, now. All, uh, all the members of truss have an equal axial rigidity, AE, equally AE. What is the strain energy stored in truss? 
What is the equation of strain energy for stress? Sigma of F I square. Yalla. Option A, sir. L by E. E. E or two E. E or two E. Two E. You have to tell. I'm clear that here, Beko. Alva. Two E. Ha. Now. You just observe the members. See here P. Here P is given. If you apply uh, static, uh, uh, that is equations of static sigma f x equals zero, sigma f y equals zero. Here also you are getting P. Here also you are getting P. Right? If, if this is P, this is P. Here also you are getting in this member also here. In this member also you are getting P. Here you are getting zero because there is no horizontal member. There is no horizontal member. If you take uh, if L by if you take this theta a tan theta from apply Pythagoras theorem to determine if you know that this is uh, zero and this is p if you apply Pythagoras theorem on that case you are getting this is root two p and this is also p you are getting we here if you take sigma f x equal zero inclined force forty five L by L on that case you are getting p so please keep in your mind if the structure given like this. Structure given like this. Generally, they will give this question, this kind of question. If they gave any kind of load, P or ten or any any kind, on that case here it will zero. Here you are getting P. Here you are getting root two P. Root two P. Here you are getting P. That's all. Here you are getting P. Now you observe. If you make a tabular column, if you make a tabular column to compute the strain energy, here you take segment. Here you take segment. The first segment you take AB. If you take AB segment, if you take AB segment, AB, then uh, you are having FI, right? FI, or next you are having FI square, FI square, and L, L. Finally, you are having this equation here. You take here. Now FI. What is FI? AB zero, zero. What is L? L. So this is the equation. If you multiply, you are getting zero for AB. Next member BC. For BC, what is FI? What is FI? P. This is BC. FI is P. FI square is. See, this is you take minus P because acting downward. So P square. Now it will become P square. Now this equation will become L is L only. Equation will become P square L by. Two A E, P square L by two A E. Next member, this one. For this member, see, for this member, P is there, so you are getting P square L by two A E. Here also P is there, you are getting P square L by two A E. For this, how much you just compute? Finally, add these three things. Finally, add these three things. How much you are getting? Please check. You apply root two p here. If you take p square, root two p square, root two square is how much? Two. It will become two p square. Two p square l by two a e. A two to get cancelled. So if you add all these things for inclined member l, what is l? Root two p. Or Istella circus now beda sir. Now Istella madala sir. Andre, just try to remember the equation. Try to remember the equation. The option. Try to remember the option. See which option are you guessing? So many guess maadi inte hai. Nee nee hui dilla nee pid kora beda. Istma ata nee pid kodi. P P is zero. P P root two P. Istma ata nee pid kodi. Iwa guess maadi yau the equation irbo. Try to guess the equation. C. Which one? C. C. Others. Try to guess. Tapa other parvagi la guess madi. What is the equation? Root two irado. Root two irado parle beko. Ekhe andre root two inclined member the ida. So idu alla idu alla. Ivar andre liyado hi guess madi. Yes. Guess. नहीं वो एमसी क्यों ना नहीं इधर तरह मर्डर को नहीं वो वर्कआउट मर्डर कागल आंध्रे प्लीज गेस सी यस वेरी गुड समान गेस्ट बी राइट व्हाई बी 
why it is b why it is b if you take p square if you take p square i have explained root 2 square what is root 2 square 2 2 to will become cancel so what is the option b only this is not the option because if you are having root 2 b if you square root 2 it will become 2 2 to get cancels yes i think this is very easy to remember alwa ide ve easy nimge nevu yen madbeku ee tara kottaga just take a note that directly here p is there therefore this is p here there is no horizontal forces zero this is also p and this is root 2 p now you are getting easily you can get this root 2 square 2 to get cancel in equation you are getting b any doubts any doubts okay yes here find the strain energy stored per unit volume of the material listed below strain energy you have to compute strain energy u for different materials he is given uh, proportionality limit see this is very good thing what is meant by proportionality what you, what it indicates see when giving proportionality limit this is sigma don't confuse sir eno kottidare anta that is sigma value and e value is given ha ah, what is strain energy it's a general equation axially stressed yesterday we saw it sigma is given what is the equation nenne ella helidri what is the equation sigma square by 2e sigma square by 2e yes complete mari yes baruthe sigma square by 2e what is for might steel u for might steel is steady u for might steel what is the value u for might steel similarly compute u for aluminium same equation there is no change similarly compute u for rubber what is the answers this is the equation general equation why i have taken into volume into volume is very very important but what is the volume here what is the value of volume what is the value of volume ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೈಲೈಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಏನೇನು ಏನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬರೀ ಇದನ್ನು ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ರೆಸಿಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ರೆಸಿಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಹುಷಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ any doubts see ee tara problem keltane these are the expected type of problem yes what are the answers first one is 0.014 uh, 0.014 0.14 okay 0.014 please check 0.014 or 0.14 247 square yes, 0.14 sir ah 0.14 is right next second what is the second one point one seven one point one seven very good one point one seven very good what is the last one it's the last one One point zero three. One point zero three. One point zero three. So these are the answers. Or if you have another one, then cut it. Under that, I will give you more than one. Or any one. If you have another one, then cut it. Now there are other options for both. But the ultimate aim is equation and unit volume. Instead of unit volume, if I give two meter cube, three meter cube, or twenty mm cube, thirty mm cube, under case 
you have to multiply whatever the volume volume or in some cases they will give cross sectional area and length sigma square by 2e so in last class we discussed regarding these kinds of problem okay sigma square by 2e that is yes. sigma square by 2e yes sigma square by 2e yes c answer is first one 0.14 Second one one point one seven. The last one is one point zero three. Yes, see, ni mo idun na nenpit ko ba kapa bardit ko di on kada. Idun direct ka kaya tara. Strain energy due to bending standard cases for cantilever subjected to point load. Ni direct ka kaya equation na na yella yano problem yella mada ka gala standard case yaro cantilever yaro UDL yaro simply supported beam. Then put coding. Have to remember these two things. One is cantilever subjected to point load at L end. U equals W square L cube by six E I. Cantilever subjected to U D L. W square L power five by forty E I. Simply supported subjected to point load at center. U equal W square L cube by ninety six E I. Simply supported being carrying U D L throughout this span. U equal W square L power five two forty I. See, there's one common thing you have to see when U D L here also L power five. When simply supported here also L power five. So each one then put it. See when point load L power three. When here also point load L power three. So in M C Q na le one L power three irta be one L power five irta be. Awa agni mo gota pur be ko point load ida L power five alla L power three. UDL ಇದೆ L43 ಅಲ್ಲ L5 ಈ ತರ ನೆನಪಿಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ಲಾದರಲ್ಲೂ W square ಇರುತ್ತದೆ there is a only change in the values of L square and L cube ಆತರ so L cube ಇದ್ರೆ point load ಇರುತ್ತದೆ L5 ಇದ್ರೆ UDL ಇರುತ್ತದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನೆನಪಿಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ನ ಆರಾಮಾಗಿ ನೆನಪಿಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಏನು cantilever point load ಇದ್ರೆ 6EI cantilever UDL ಇದ್ರೆ 40 point load ಇದ್ರೆ 96 ಅಲ್ವಾ ಇದು ಟೂ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಅವ್ರು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ಹೇಗೇನಾರು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನೀವೇ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕೀಗ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಟೆನ್ ಕಿಲೋ ನೀಟನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇ ಐ ಇ ಐ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ total ei 20 into 10 power 3 kilo newton per meter cube or meter uh, yes right ha uh, i will get directly i'll give like this see what is the value of u avaga neevu section tagondu sahasra galalla maadbedi ee equation enu irutte w square l cube by 6 ei yes what is the value how much you are getting 0.05 check whatever the value you are getting you just substitute 0.053 that's all same another problem see nimge yak eno kottidini indre ee equation enpidre ee tara problem aagtare ee tara problem aagbodu it's a determinate structures see nan ella maadsa hogide ille maadta idini 4 meter ha ah, yes ivaga what is u you could not solve maadi helbeko you will work maadidre all maartira ill maadlilla andre all barala w square which means 20 square l power 5 4 power 5 divided by 640 into 0.5 0.5 0.512 ओके 512 ನಿಮಗೆ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ನ್ಯೂಮರಿಕಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕವರ್ ಆಗೋಯ್ತು ನಿಮಗೆ ಇರದೇ ಇಷ್ಟ ಟೈಪ್ ನ್ಯೂಮರಿಕಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳೋದು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ 20 ಕಿಲೋ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ 2 ಮೀಟರ್ 2 ಮೀಟರ್ ನೌ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ w ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ l ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ l ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಟೋಟಲ್ l ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ l ಫುಲ್
I'm covering all the cases of problems with the help of the standard equations. What is the strain energy stored in? Simply support it, which is 20 kilonewton. 0 0.013. 0 0.013. Yeah. Okay. Please check all of you getting the same thing. Yes, sir. I will move on another problem. Point load, 30 kilonewton per meter, 3 meter. What is the value? Please practice these equations. Okay, but then the one day you should answer find out more common. See, this is the equation. 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 Very good. See, all of you following whatever I'm saying. All of you follow what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Very good. That's it. Strain energy is not the same as the strain energy. Strain energy is the same as the strain energy. Strain energy is the same as the casting layer. Casting layer is the same as the strain energy. I have a direct strain energy equation. Virtual work is the same as the strain energy. The strain energy is the same as the strain energy. Follow me. Okay. Shall I move on to the next problem? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. A truss is shown in figure. See, this is the given truss. Okay, the cross-sectional area of each member is A and modulus of elasticity is also E. What is the strain energy stored in XY element? Illi. Strain energy is to illi. E element and what is the strain energy? Any guesses? Any guesses? Yes, sir. Yeah. Others? Others? यानर वंदु गेस्ट मार्ड रो सरीना तब्बो गेस्ट मार्डी नथिंग टू वरी तब्बा आप बिटरे ये नंगे की इनफैक्ट ये न तब्बा आप बिटरे ये नो आगे ये लाली एक इधर ये लाली हिडन टैलेंट्स गड़े निवेदन करो गेस्ट मार्ड बोलो गेस्ट मार्डी सरीना तब्बो ओके नो प्रॉब्लम क्या उधर बोलो ओनली इब्र बॉय सेड हेल्थिनी लाइव क्लासेस से लगता आ गए रिकॉर्डिंग गली ये नो लगता आ गला निम्न के लाइव क्लासेस इस वेरी वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट ओके इट्स ओके वेरी गुड अपा फॉर अटेम्प्ट सी हियर पी आई हैव टोल्ड दैट फॉर दिस इफ यू कंसीडर दिस मेंबर इफ दिस इज पी दिस इज आल्सो पी हियर देर इज नो फोर्स जीरो because x y is asking x y see it's asking x y if you substitute any value what is the value you are getting zero zero but i thought in the last time here could not a trust only hang to go back on the if this is p this is p here there is no member therefore this is zero if this element is zero this if you take x y what is the value zero If P is zero, the value whatever the if you substitute anything, you are getting zero. Specifically, it's not asking total stress, total trust. Sir. Previous problem only total trust carry zero. Alva, this problem only specific kagi member ke don hai X Y anta. So any doubts? Clear? Yes, sir. हाँ, a strain energy stored in a simply supported beam of L, fluctuating rigidity EI, central concentrated load. What's the value? ये किन्हों ऐड दिने? Sir C sir. C. Others? D sir. D sir. Sir D sir D D D. Sir यार, when it is subjected to point load, what I have told? Remember L Q? Yes sir yes. Subjected to UDL, remember L power 5. L power 5. See L cube. Here is L cube. This is valid. Here L square, not valid. L square, not valid. Only the competition between A and D. Who will win? The higher the value, 96 will win. Option D. Option B. Nimu, logically think more. Logically think more. Sadanna jump up. 96 is the answer. 
L cube. That is very very important. So any doubts? Itara kel tarai. Thumba chana agi udhru tapmar tera easy agi trap. Okay. See, if the strain energy absorbed in a cantilever beam in bending, its own weight is k times greater than the strain energy absorbed in an identical simply supported beam in bending. Then what is the magnitude of k? See, this is also related to that equation only. Cantilever beam. Cantilever beam under bending, under bending, it is k times greater than strain energy due to simply supported beam under bending. Yes, what is the magnitude of k? In Barbudo, yes, any guess? Four, 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 other C, 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 six. Any other answers? Any other answers? What? Four. Okay, others. Yaro, no Ibru heedi. Ag ninda yaro Ibru matra try marti dira. What about remaining students? Someone put a message. Answer four. Okay, four means okay. B. Okay. How it is B? Any idea? Yaro next time we hang here. Both of the B ita. Ado moment. Ado equate ma bhara sir. Moment. Ah oh, yes. Moment equate ma adre. What you are you getting? Uh, okay, strain energy absorbed in cantilever beam. Cantilever beam under bending. So, what is the equation for bending under cantilever beam? Any idea? Yesterday class problem. Yesterday class problem. Think, you 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 solve my try my bit co. You try my bit and here you yes sir. It's all that here is there. I to sir, it's not tapa. Yes. See if the strain energy absorbed in a cantilever beam. Strain energy. What is strain energy? U equal. U equal. What? Sigma square by two k into volume and general, or for beam members, what is the thing? Integral of m x m x square d x d x divided by d i d i for a moment. If you consider a moment is giving own weight. See when he is talking about self weight, what how it is distributed? Self weight. Self weight is distributed in the form of Uniform distributors. That is UDL. UDL. He is talking about K. This is K. He is telling that this is K. What is the case? Cantilever subjected to uh, UDL. Cantilever uh, subjected to simply support. Uh, simply support. So in cantilever, you may expect here uh, the moment is. What is the moment you may expect? K into Mx. If you take x, or if you know the equation, substitute the equation, cancel it. You are getting ratio. Six to sir answer. Six month da. Tahan dra values no dra. What is k value? Ah ha. Here, what is the equation for uh, cantilever subjected to UDL? W square L five. W square L five. L five divided by forty. Forty. Ei. Forty ei. Okay, EI cancel आ गए थे. Forty EI divided by W square L five by W square L five by L five divided by two forty EI. Two forty EI. Two forty EI. Yes, EI EI cancel आ गए थे. Here also all cancel आ गए थे. इलिए नो ये रोड को रेश तेरे रेश बर्त है. Two forty by forty. रेश तो याद हो क्या इतना नहीं होता. Six. Ah, strain energy absorbed in either simply supported beam. Either in the case, under two forty by forty, how much? Six. Ah, step. You may have heard it. Do young or old? Six months ago. You self-weight and textile. You may go to a bit of the UDL. Lanta. 
जनरली Okay. Any doubts? Shall I move on to next question? Yes, sir. Yes. The elastic strain energy stored in a rectangular cantilever beam of length subjected to bending M applied at the end is. Yes. What is the answer? What is the answer? Rectangular, cantilever, cantilever or rectangular? Okay. L. When you are applying a moment, M. At this end. What is the value? Strain energy. What is the equation? M square L by two E. Yeah. Into d x by Two e a integral. Here, what is m? M is nothing but m only. Here, if you take a here moment, here you are getting only moment, direct moment. So m x equal m. So what is you are getting m square by two e a m square l by two e l yes m square l by two e a. Which one is the option? Option e. Option e. Any doubts? Okay. See direct couple, couple cut down. Eh, there ain't illa couple. There ain't no. If you take M X, only M X. Simple question no. You know, tala kids put the name again. Be illi mi vachne mar beko. Ye hi bara chance illa. Ye hi alla. Alva sixteen o three chance hi illa. Equation hi re do two hi hai. Direct M X andre M me. So M square L by two hi hai. Clear any doubts? Clear this question? Clear, I tapa. Students, okay. Move on to next question. Yes, the strain energy due to bending in the cantilever beam shown in figure is how much? Yes. What is the strain energy? See here, you have to take m x equal p l. So if you take this, it will become integral of p l square, p l square, p l square by two e i into l. So you are getting p option square b. option b square l cube by two e i. What is the option? Option b. Option b, sir. Option b. b. Very good, Navin. Option. Option. Which one is the option? B sir. Please. Please check. That is L cube by three part, sir. Integration. Ah, L cube by three. Because we have to integrate, Alva. We have to integrate. L cube by three is six. Three into two six. How much? L. Which one is the option? B. Yes. P square L cube by six. It's simple. Last time. M X na substitute mar beko. Immediately mar beko. Clear? Or you know the equation? What is the equation? What is the equation? What is the equation? Point out. Is the equation? Integration of W. U. Equation. W equal W. W square L cube by six e i divided by W L cube divided by what? Berko is what? Six e i. Six e i. Six e i. Now W is P. P. P P W square ah W square yes P square L cube by six e i अंदर मुक्त हो गया लास्ट है निभेंगा आदरों आटे डबो दो निम्बू तेरे में कष्ट है कॉन्सेप्ट 
ನೀವ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬೇಗ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರೋ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಉಳಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಟ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೀ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಗೆಸಸ್ ಎನಿ ಗೆಸಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಗೆಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ what is the option option a sir option a others yes sir all are the saying a why a what is the reason any idea any idea why that is a please check why it is a try to give some explanation ಎನಿಗೆಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ಸ್ಕ್ವೈ Uh, this is the following. I have given strain energy and I have given gradually applied loads. Yes, match. Try to match which one is the correct. What is the correct code? What is sigma square V by 2E? What is this? V. Here V is there. Here it's tau is there. Tau V by 2G. Here tau V by 4G. Here yeah, this is very easy. Why it is easy? M square x by 2 EI. This is a bending. This is bending. Bending. So directly getting. This is yes. This is yes. Huh. Now try to guess other, other things. You say sigma square by 2 E. Sigma square by 2 E. Axial load. The axial load. Into volume. Yes, sir. Into volume. So this is P only. So uh, this is P only. Yes. D, D, option D, sir. What? Torsion. For torsion. Uh, torsion. Torsion. Load. Uh, tau square V by 2G is what? Tau square V by 2G is what? Remind Shear me. Load. Shear. Shear load. This Shear. is 2G is? Shear load. 2G is for? Shear. Shear. Shear or torsion? Shear, sir. Shear, sir. Shear load. E is one right. Two is three. Yes, this is shear. Two square by two g. Two. Remaining is. Ah, uh, please check the code. P is one. P is one. There are two options. Yes. Two. Yes is two. Ah, uh, only this is also same. This is also same. Here. Yes, this is the answer. This is only interchanging. D. Any doubt? See. You know, kello time or big over there. I'm sure. Shear under two g. Shear under 2G, torsion under 4G. See, please keep a note. Shear, you are getting 2G. Torsion, you are getting 4G. Difference, please take a note on this difference. Clear, any doubts? Sir, one minute, hello. Okay. Sir, 18th, Ali. Ah. Sir, option D, I will go, sir. I will go, sir. I will go, sir. I will go, sir. ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಳಕ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟಿ ಲಿವರ್ ತರ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಸಿಗ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತೀರಾ ಬಿಸಿಗ್ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಸೇಮ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಅದೇ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ ಅವಾಗ ಎರಡು ಟೂ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಂದು ಒಂದ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಆಗೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಟೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಆದಾಗ ಉಳಿಯೋದು ಯಾವ್ದು ಇದೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಹೇಳೋ ತರ ಬರೋ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ Okay. Okay. Is any doubts in 19th? Did I move on to the next question? See, we are solving more than 40, 40 to 45 questions in class only in MCQ. Yesterday, I have solved more than 20 questions. 
Today also I have taken more than twenty questions. So you must put your efforts. Clear? Okay. Yes. A beam carries UDL throughout its length. In which of the following configurations strain energy will be maximum? Yes. Where strain energy equations then post code? Where it is maximum? Simply supported. B. B. Simply supported B. Cantilever, sir. Cantilever. There are two answers I got. Sir, cantilever. Cantilever only. Cantilever, sir. Cantilever. Why? Yesterday we saw the thing. Yeah, Martha, it's a different. What uh, a cantilever only two square it worked. Yeah, why? Why not? You are against the maximum. Strain energy storing member cantilever. Nenne madi dini. Okay. Matte confusion mark comment pade. Strain okay. energy. See nimge ye nandra. Ek generally U equation no cantilever U D L ye na pa. Ye no W square U D L ye no L power five divided by forty years. Forty years. Cantilever. Cantilever. Forty A, forty A, forty A. Adenim ge simply supported U D L ge na pa. U equal W L square L power five by two forty A. Ha, you walk like a madi. Yau justi berate, yau karve berate. Denominator le justi the. Andre value ena gatte. Less berate. Denominator le karme the. Value ena gatte. Aiy ber. Ha, adi ilian ke dr dono maximum. So which one is maximum? Cantilever. Ah, Athara. You we do two forty days, sir. But you don't just see in bar do. You we don't mar daga product mar daga. You do you do same ah. You do you do same oh. Nothing changes. So only denominator just see in the less value per the compared to this. So only yeah, do maximum cantilever is maximum. Artha ita. You mean again? Any artha agli landre? Either one then put kobo do. क्वेशन प्राक्टिस आगत एनी डाउट Complementary energy is applicable to linear structures only. C sir. Both. Non-linear structures both. only. Both linear and non-linear. C. Both sir. Both because I am talking about first theorem. Okay. Directly the power body linear and kind of. Are they second theorem put in there? Linear only. Yes. The unit load method is used in structural analysis. Is applicable only to statically indeterminate structures. Another name for stiffness method and extension of Maxwell's reciprocal theorem derived from Castiglione's theorem. D. B. D. D. Sir. Yes. This is also same thing derived from Castiglione's theorem. Consider the following statements. Willett Mohs diagram is used to determine the deflection of arch truss rigid frame. Which one is correct? Any guesses? Truss. Option D. Truss. Frames. Truss. Yes. Always it is. Truss only, only for trusses. It nim ye na gida. It one question ke da chances ida. Please make a star mark. This is the method used for only trusses. Try to remember this. Willett Mohs diagram is used for the computing the internal member forces in truss. In truss. Yes, list one, list two. 
Any idea? No, sir. Which is the code? Maxwell reciprocal theorem. Maxwell. Forces in bar elements. Keep in mind. Forces in bar element. Nibal's method. Deflection by numerical procedure. This is the uh, deflection by numerical procedure. Numax method. Numax method. Function. Concept of substituent matters. Villiet Mohs diagram stresses. One new guess martira D Nimagutto option nodi. D four D bandu one D one Yadrali there D one bandu there are two chances. Option D sir. There are two chances. There are two chances. So which one option is the correct? Option D, C. C sir. Option C. Even Barkod Rapa actually following the chances is there. Please take a note. Maxwell diagram is a forces in bar elements. Hennebergs method, it is a deflection by numerical procedure. Numax method, it's a concept of substrate matters. And Villiet Mohs diagram is the displacement of joints in a truss. So now I concluding the things say regarding your topic strain energy method. It completes your entire strain energy method. Okay, any doubts? So we discussed all the awesome. concepts and also we discussed as whatever uh, maximum MCQs also. Yesterday we discussed more than 25 questions. Today also 25 questions. So the next uh, topic, it's a very, very, very important topic. That's more or less you must know. You may expect many, many questions in that particular topic. That is slope deflection method and moment area method for that slope deflection and moment area method you must require the basics of how to compute static indeterminacy as well as how to compute kinematic indeterminacy okay shall i move on to the topic shall i move on to the topic shall i move on to the topic mata draw yes sir, yes, sir. Oh, bye, yes, sir. Remaining students? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll take. Uh... See, I will explain some basics. So, the small presentation is there. It's my college. I'll take some of my college uh, reference works. Okay. Okay, so these are structures. What is mean by structure? So I'm not going in detail at all. You know that it's an assemblages of number of components like uh, beams, slabs, columns, and foundations. But the, we, when we are designing the structures, it must be in equilibrium. That's the main concept. I've also discussed it regarding this when we are doing uh, like planar and space structure equilibrium. In planar means it's a two dimensional structures. Generally, we are having three equations of statics. Sigma fx equals zero, sigma fy equals zero, and sigma m equals zero. When it's a space structures, we are having six equations of statics. Fy, fx, fz equals zero, mx, my, mz equals zero. So some of the examples, uh, building dams, we just you know that. But also different types of supports also we discussed uh, when we beginning of shear force and building moment diagrams. And also uh, it's a classification of structures. Sometimes you may get what is the example for one dimensional structures? So one dimensional structures means if you consider any volume, you are having length, breadth, depth. One of the dimension is large compared to remaining two dimensions. We termed as one dimensional structures. Consider example for beam. If you observe, if you imagine a beam, 
beam is large in length compared to breadth and depth hence beam is classified under one dimensional structure if you see the plane truss plane truss if you see the larger truss its length is large compared to breadth and depth that's why that is also classified under one dimensional structure two dimensional structure any two of dimensions are large compared to thickness if you assume a slab slab length and uh, breadth are large depth is small if you consider a wall wall length is large height is large thickness is small hence these are all comes under two dimensional structures three dimensional structures if you are going to consider all three dimension if you see the pedestal of column it's a three dimension we are we are not ignoring anything it's a pile cap in foundation so so all three dimensional structures next is the forms of structures civil engineering structures are generally classified as frame structure and continuum structures but frame structures are very very important in frame structures we are having space and plane are once again you are having rigid rigid frames and plane frame nothing uh, more than this so these are all known so ha uh, that this is very very important what is internal stresses and deformations see generally we are having uh, how many types of forces we are having axial force that axial force will produces axial deformation but axial force produces axial deformation same in a perpendicular force transverse force transverse force axial force is like this transverse force say, acting perpendicular to member will cause flexural deformation shear when you are applying on a surface it will create shear deformation if you are applying a torsion a rotatory moment at one end but in the other it will create torsional deformation and also this is very very important see the m number of members unknown internal member forces see you may get a question like how many unknown members you may get in truss they may give m 2m 3m but the option is m so m in case of trusses this is very very important 2m in case of beams 3m in case of rigid plane frames m in case of trusses 2m in case of beams 3m in case of rigid plane frames this is very very important using this we know that with this so idin thallil ittkondiri enna m is for truss 2m is for beams for rigid plane frames so next we know that equations of statics are three so now don't read all those things directly ha huh. next thing is what is mean by boundary or support condition what is mean by boundary condition this is also we discussed because if you see the fixed support it's having three unknowns these are boundary condition if you come to hinge how many reaction hinge two if you come to roller how many reactions one if you come to simple how many reactions one boundary conditions are nothing but support conditions that's all okay it's already we discussed so we generally we term it as axial forces are translations and moment is rotation so generally in fixed support is having two translation and one rotation hinged support is having two translation so roller one translation simple one translation okay next different types of indeterminate and determinate structures so this is also i have told when we are doing shear force and bending moment diagrams i am just briefing the thing simply supported beam can't be a beam see now tell me these two are which type of uh, structures determinate or indeterminate simply supported beam and cantilever determinate or indeterminate which one determinate sir determinate here these two are proper cantilever and uh, fixed beams are indeterminate why available equations of 3 here you are getting 2 is determinate here you are getting 3 determinate here you are getting 6 all available are 3 indeterminate here you are getting 3 plus 1 4 available are 3 hence this is also indeterminate indeterminate okay this is regarding the basic
let me move on to the next uh, presentation it's a small small presentation i made it for uh, my regular class yes here i have covered like classification this is over i think ah yes in previous lecture yes in previous lecture we discussed regarding all these things topics covered in previous lecture okay in this particular content we are going to yes this is also important they will ask they will say a question linearity non linearity it's in your syllabus only this, okay so linear and non linear you know that because we are already discussed strain energy now there is no meaning if i discuss here in this particular case okay but you just go through the material here this is steel and concrete is a non linearity how it behaves geometric non linearity means what if the change in shape it's a contact of non linearity will comes into picture but this is already known so this this thing also we discussed what is statically determinate and what is statically indeterminate and all right ah yes this is very very important static indeterminacy this is our concern topic so you may get one or two questions in this particular content a plane frame structure is statically determinate we know that it will holds the particular equations so what are the members uh, forces i already told that there may be a external support reactions and also, and also there may be a internal member forces these are the different types of forces can happen on the structure see what is degree of indeterminacy degree of indeterminacy is nothing but it's a total number of unknown forces which can be determined by equations of equilibrium which cannot be determined see which cannot be not can be which cannot be determined using equations of statics then we term it as static indeterminacy or redundancy so what is external degree of external indeterminacy means if it is only reaction equations see the total number of unknown external support reactions which cannot be determined by three equation see so when you are taking this fixed beam here you are having six you know that is a three indeterminate of order three by externally indeterminate because here all three are external reactions because all three are external reaction hence these kind of things are called externally indeterminacy so what is mean by and also one more thing you have to keep in your mind at each joint of truss and beams we are having two equations see you know care bodu at trusses what are the equations these two at beams not sigma h at beams we are getting sigma v equals 0 and sigma m equals 0 so if they give beam don't take a beam and takshana nimge more ide anta thavu madbeedi because we are generally taking axially rigid so in that case you are getting two equations at beam also two equation at truss also two equation what are the equations of equilibrium at truss only two equations of equilibrium at axially rigid beams this is axially rigid axially rigid means you are getting two equation that is sigma v and sigma m this is very very important you may get it's very very important similarly in rigid plane frames you are getting three so here what you have to do truss in truss how many equations of statics two what are those fx and fy sigma fx equal 0 and fy equal 0 and in beams if axially rigid beams axially rigid beams once again you are having two what are those sigma fy equal 0 and sigma m equal 0 and sigma m equal 0 and sigma m equal 0 Uh, in axially rigid frames rigid frame rigid plane frames in rigid plane frames how much 3 what are those sigma fx equal 0 sigma fy equal 0 and sigma m equal 0 or sigma h equal 0 sigma v equal 0 sigma m equal 0 okay any doubts here any doubts here this is very very important please take a note very very important clear next thing see this for m number of members internal forces internal forces in truss m internal force in case of beams 2m internal member force in case of rigid plane frames 3m now 
plain framed structure consists of m number of members j number of joints r number of external support reactions then total degree of indeterminacy is given by see this is truss truss for truss this is m members m plus reaction minus two joints here this is 2m see this is 2m here m 2m plus r minus 2j here i equal here 3m 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 plus r minus 3j 3j what are those 2 2 3 these are equations of statics for truss 2 for beam 2 for rigid frames 3 so number we have to multiply with joints that's why this is for truss two equations of statics for beams axially rigid beams two equations of statics for rigid plane frames three equations of statics therefore finally we are combining all the things we are getting i equal m plus r minus 2j for trusses i equals 2m plus r minus 2j for beams i equals 3m plus r minus 3j for rigid plane frames definitely they will ask directly in your mcq question sometimes okay i equal c how they will get what is the total degree of indeterminacy for rigid plane frames rigid plane frames they will give in option 6m plus r minus 6j 3m plus r minus 3j all those things you have to get you have to pick proper answer okay then the difference between i and e see the total indeterminacy is the sum of external indeterminacy plus internal indeterminacy so we are getting total we know how to compute external how to compute external external indeterminacy for beams is number of reactions minus 2 for truss or rigid plane frames is number of reactions minus 3 so you are getting e value you want i how to compute i equal total indeterminacy minus external indeterminacy will give degree of internal indeterminacy we cannot predict or we cannot determine total internal indeterminacy directly total internal to determine total internal indeterminacy first you have to find total indeterminacy afterwards we have to find external indeterminacy afterwards the internal indeterminacy can be easily determined by total you have by subtracting total indeterminacy by external indeterminacy so don't confuse all those things the main thing is this one total degree of indeterminacy you keep this point this is enough this is enough you just practice this equation and if you if you are good you can go with this or you leave this is very very important this is very very important i equals m plus r minus 2j for trusses i equal 2m plus r minus 2j for beams I equal 3m plus r minus 3j for rigid frames. For rigid frames, any doubts in these three equations? These three equations are important. Nothing worry about other things. Any doubts? Any doubts in these three equations? Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Kinematic indeterminacy. Kinematic indeterminacy is nothing but uh, see, it's very easy. so i will uh, just explain here you, not, you you don't go with any equation for kinematic indeterminacy see i will take one example see i am giving this kind of problem determine kinematic indeterminacy this very simple thing at each joint at each joint at each joint you know that what is the possible displacement at each joints two translation and one rotation at each joint these are the possible two translation and one rotation at hinge how many external reactions two two so this and this at uh, fixity how many external support reactions three three now tell me because of this reaction it is zero because of this reaction this is zero this is possible theta because of this force zero this is moment zero this is zero now What is the kinematic indeterminacy of this beam? If it is A B, only theta A. Kinematic indeterminacy is one. If we are talking about displacements, that is kinematic indeterminacy. I will give. I will take one more example. 
what is the kinematic intermittency for this kind of structure? At each joint, we may expect three displacements. At each joint, we may expect three displacements. Okay. So here, how many external support three, reactions? Three. Here, one. Here, three. two. So now, because of two. these three reactions, this is zero. All are zero. Here, this is zero. Here, this is zero. See, when you are having continuous beam, because of this fixity, because of this fixity, and also it's axially rigid, which means there is no there is no moment in x direction. Please make a note. Here you are having fixity. Here you are having fixity. It will not allow to move in this direction and axially rigid. If it is axially rigid, so it will not move. This is also zero. This is also zero. Only possible is theta b. Theta C. Then what is the kinematic intermittency? Two. Theta B and theta C. Why it is not? We are not getting here because of this fixity and it's axially rigid. Axially rigid means there is no moment in axis, whatever in the beam direction. Longer directionally moment is allowed. Axially rigid done that. Which one is longer direction? X. Here x moment is zero. Hence, what is the total kinematic intensity? Two. Similarly, I will give one more beam. Now, tell me what is the kinematic intensity of this beam? What is the kinematic intensity of this beam? Two. Try to get. And also, I will give one more problem. Try to get for this. What is the kinematic intensity for this? Two. Two. Very good. If you take A, B, C, D, that is theta B and theta C. For this, for this, one is one, only one. Only theta B. So, like this, any doubts in uh, kinematic indeterminacy? But, so nothing to worry about this thing. In next uh, slide, I'm giving few problems. If you see, so the for formula I can use or more of the lesser. At podo, you got name Martin Nodili. Il problems cotidini. Problems formula hake Marti. See, determine the degree of kinematic intensity of the structure shown in figure. See, degree of freedom for different support condition. Free end. What is free end? If free end is there, if free end is there, what is the thing? If free end is there, which means that, see, if there is a no support, if there is a no support here, free end. So all three displacements are possible, right? If it is a hinge, if it is a hinge, how many displacement are possible? If it is a hinge, one. One rotate one is possible like that. So that's the explanation I have given. Free end three, simple roller two, hinge one, fixed end zero. See, if you do that question, what are the what is the degree of freedom for roller support? What is the degree of freedom for hinge support? What is the degree of freedom for free end? Clear? Gudaita yautaranta depending on reaction. Roller quota. Roller. Possible is three. In roller, one. So what is the degree of freedom for roller? For roller, how much? Theta and delta two. See roller two. But if you come to beam, full entire. If I'm talking about supports, this is fine. But if you come to entire beam, then axial rigid axis na ignore marti. Okay. See here how many uh, displacements? Theta B, theta C. What is the kinematic intensity? Two. But why it is ignored? Because of this fixity, and we are assuming that axially rigid. We are assuming that axially rigid because this is length is large, and here we are having fixed support. Any doubts in this problem? Kinematic intensity is two. What are those? Theta B and theta C. 
here here this is zero because of this fixity at joint tension this is also zero only theta b don't think that it is free and three rotations are is a overhang at overhang is not accountable only here theta b hence it is one next sway frame for sway frame or rectilinear frames at fixity zero zero but here theta is possible here theta is possible and whatever the same amount it will be so therefore delta equal delta b equal delta c so using this two we are considering only delta because the same amount will shift whatever theta b will shift uh, delta b will shift delta c is also same hence the kinematic intensity is 3 what are those theta b theta c and delta c3 so the why i am saying all those things in your syllabi they put directly slope deflection method moment distribution method but these are all the basics you must require for to solve the kind of problems clear it's very simple but try to follow the lecture okay now degree of freedom for the structure see you are having equation all nam nimge equation helilla direct a helkotte or you can use this equation what is the equation for truss ee barkomadi one kade degree for truss ge one table hakkomidri table hakkomidi structure ee tara table hakkodi structure structure static indeterminacy kinematic indeterminacy for truss for truss what is the equation for truss m plus r minus 2j m plus r de bega etkolrappa enappa for kinematic indeterminacy this is 2j minus r for beam for beam 2m plus r minus for truss is 3j or 2j 3j or 2j for truss static indeterminacy Two J, sir. Two J. That is two J, right? Not three J. This is two J. Two J. For beam, for beam also that is two J only because we I, we know that for beam and uh, for beam and truss we are having two equations of static. For rigid, for rigid, rigid plane frames. For rigid plane frames, 3m plus r plus minus r 3j. minus 3j. 3j. Here you are having for degree of for both b mind. This is 3j minus r. 3j minus r. इतने तो निम्न के MCQ नल्ला रो केड बोधो. इल्ला problem ने केड बोधो. इस टाइम यू बरको व्यक्त करो. Any doubts? Table आपको मिल जाते. This is static indeterminacy. This is kinematic indeterminacy. Problem को ट्रे है इतना अल्लाह हाथ का कुत्ता बड़े इम्पीरियल पोट ना kinematic इंटरफेस जाइंट डिस्प्लेसमेंट और डायरेक्ट बन रही है इससे. It's also for degree of freedom. Okay. See here equations use मारी दिन दोड़ी. What is degree of freedom? So number of joints one two three one two three four because internal hinge is there. Number of external reaction is four two plus two four. Number of hinges. This is extra condition, imposed condition, imposed condition. So that we have to add. If you are having any extra condition, what is the equation? D K equal three J minus R. If you are having any extra condition, you have to add imposed condition. Imposed condition. Imposed condition means internal hinges. इले ऐड मार कोड़े अष्टे इले ये लादो कुनो ये लादो कुनो ये लादो कुनो प्लस इम्पोज़ड कंडीशन 
ಅಂತ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಏನಾದ್ರು ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ಅವನು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಡಿ ಕೆ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಜೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಅಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಇಫ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಹಿಂಜ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈವ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಜೆಂಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ತ್ರೀ ಜೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಜೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಜೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಬೀಮ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಜೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರಸ್ ಟೂ ಜೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಬರಂಗೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬರೋದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫೈನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗಿಡಿಂಗ್ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ it covers your then static indeterminacy see this is not in your syllabus but it 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 must be they are definitely they will ask because you are having slope deflection and moment area method so these are you must know clear nan nale directly nan inda raw method ku hodre nimge eno artha agala yes degree of static indeterminacy these are the given so this equation is also you know for beams 2m plus r minus 2j first example take the example how many members one member how many joint two how many reactions two apply the equation that's all i zero is a statically determinate if you want external indeterminacy r minus 2 externally also indeterminate so if you want internal indeterminacy that is total minus external it's very simple if you want a second problem cantilever so proper cantilever member 1 joins 2 reaction 3 plus 1 4 apply equation 2m plus r minus 2j you are getting 2 it's an indeterminate of order 2 so external reaction 4 minus 2 so this externally indeterminate internally determinate so nimge problem alli yav tara bekadrunu kelbodu straight line alli yav tara bekadrunu kelbodu okay but you, you try to follow next this we have solved this one member is 1 joins is 2 total reaction is 6 equation apply madri 2m plus r minus 2j easily we are getting this is another problem members are two reactions is uh, 3 plus 2 5 but is an actually rigid so that's why we are ignored clear so if it is a extra conditions and are imposed madidre hinges now same equation ge en martira add martira ashte see you are adding the imposed condition see in in kinematic indeterminacy you are adding in kinematic indeterminacy adding in static indeterminacy you are subtracting subtracting see minus 1 but in kinematic you are added that is very very important remaining things all same here there are two ex- imposed conditions you are subtracting two because it is static indeterminacy equation is same so all are only like this type of only so these are all uh, just basics okay so i will uh, share the content if you want you can follow or you are having directly slope deflection method and 
uh, one, one more thing is moment distribution method. So in next class, we will move on to that particular part. This is trust. So I have already given the equation, direct substitution, direct substitution, m equal to a, uh, that is i equal m plus r minus 2j. Direct equation, all are direct equation. This is multi frames for this, this kind of frames, 3m plus r minus 3j. 3m plus r minus 3j, that's all. So I just uh, briefed the things. So even though it's not in your syllabus, but it's a part of your uh, basic things. That's why I have just taken a few minutes to explain. In tomorrow class, we will move on to very, very, very important topic. That is slope deflection method. That is for your analysis of indeterminate structures. Slope deflection method. Afterwards, we'll move on to moment distribution method. Don't miss the classes. Don't miss the classes. So any doubts in this particular class? Any doubts? Any doubts? Okay. Thank you. We will continue in next class. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.